Hey people, what's up? Wagwan, it's your girl Shan. Today I have some curry goat recipe for my Jamaicans or my Islanders or anybody that loves Jamaican food, period. I would love to show you guys how to cook this meal. It's delicious, it's easy. Let's get into it. If you're watching this video, you love my channels, please hit that subscribe button and please be sure to share your comment and anything that you need to know. Put that in the comment section. Okay guys, so I hope I don't have to tell you by now to always wash your meat. Alright, let's talk about all the season that I added to my curry goat. Um, so basically I used the typical garlic powder, onion powder, some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, some sea salt. I did use some um, Jamaican oxtail season. You can use some all-purpose season and of course I can't forget my turmeric. Added some basil, some thyme, some rosemary and you don't know some of my scotch bonnet ready. So the oil is hot, you add the turmeric, have it burn for a little bit, then you go ahead and add your meat to the pot. Okay guys, so now that you added your curry goat to the pot, it's literally frying right now. There's two ways you could do this. You could either add about two cups of water or three cups of water because it's gonna take about one hour to actually get tenderized and cooked. But what I do is I add like maybe a cup of water, I let it fry, I let it cook and simmer and fry down and then I keep adding. So every 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, I keep going back and then I keep adding water instead of just having it boil. This way, I can control how much gravy I'll end up with. When, once you're done, the meat should be falling off the bone. That's how you know your meat is cooked. You can use a, a fork, stick it in, and if it's soft and tender, you know it's cooked. Now it's time to add the additional ingredients and, and pretty much re-seasoning the pot. Remember, you've been adding a lot of water, so some of the flavor is lost. Basically what I did is all the seasoning that I used to season the meat prior, I add every single one of them to the pot. Add like about a cup of water. If there's enough water in already, then you don't, have, you don't need to add any water. If there's less water in the pot, maybe you'll need to add about a cup of water and simply add all the previous seasoning that you had. Then that smell is so delicious and looks so good. So it's done, it's the wrap, and this is how it looks. Okay, so now that you've seen the final results, typically Jamaicans eat curry goat with some white rice but you can also have some rice and peas. So I already had some rice and peas already ready. So I warmed up my rice and peas and I'm about to chow down. So I hope you like it. It was so good guys. Please let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know how it came out. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Stay safe.